Have you seen Aspen's video about wow, why WoW PvP is going to die soon? No. It's dead. Why Blizzard will never save PvP in WoW? Is that it? Yeah, let's take a look at this. This sounds really interesting. I I'm curious what Aspen's take is. It's dead. Why Blizzard will never save PvP in WoW? It's a pretty pessimistic title, but let, like, like, let's see what he has to say here. It's dying? I wonder why. Who could possibly know that? Bro, I'm so sick of this fucking moth, man. I'm so sick of him. I think I've been on- Wait, Asmongold's reacting to a video from Bellular saying World of Warcraft PvP is dying? I feel like I should just watch the Bellular video. I mean, I do care what Asmon has to say too, but I'm, I, I feel like I should just watch the Bellular video. Oh, is it an old Bellular video? Whatever, I'll just watch the Asmon one, because Asmon probably has some good points. All right, let's check it wow, out. Wow, PvP is dying? I wonder why. Who could possibly know that? Bro, I'm so sick of this fucking moth, man. I'm so sick of him. I think I've been on. I think there's like three. I thought I, I killed these fucking things and now they're back again. Bro, it's the worst thing when you're streaming and there's a fly r flying around the damn room the whole stream and you just can't focus on anything else except that damn fl darn fly family friendly. It's Wait. crazy. Next topic is an interesting one because, uh, well, PvP. Where have they all gone? What's going on? Turns out we can take a look at things. Now, the PvP community uh, do feel uh, a little bit... Uh, PvP has really been abandoned. It was a good run. So, this is from... I think it's from Magnus. Magnus, uh, multi, 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 rank one warrior. I played with him, played against him. Good guy. Um, so, they're reacting to the tweet. This will actually be a good react because Asmin is more of like a collector or a game completionist. And Bellular, I think, is more of like a, well, reporter slash pve -er, right? Um, so for me as a pvp -er, this, this will be like an interesting take. Because I, I definitely have a very different perspective than both of these guys, right? That was from Magnus. Magnus is one of the best warriors in the world. Yeah. A little bit raw right now. It, it does seem that uh, maybe Plunderstorm is uh, not what they... Uh sort of wanted for their traditional pvp of course it's, um, not, it's not pvp it's, yeah. it's not wow it, it is it's not wow PvP. It's like not if, you, if you're playing wow pvp like plunderstorm isn't going to be like oh, okay i'm going to just do this instead wow i have such a different take like for me plunder has been the best wow pvp experience if you want to call it that it's semantics if you want to call it something else like a plunderstorm instead of wow that's fine but i think it's it's one of the best experiences for 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 me personally and and very like a very very long time better than like all of the last expansions of pvp and probably future it's different it's easy to watch it's easy to get into it's easy to play it's 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 what probably like it's probably the direction that pvp should maybe head in um it, it's different right so like i i made a, a very um crazy take that a lot of people disagreed with at uh the start of plunder and i said i'm more excited for this than next expansion and everyone's like whoa czar you're crazy and i'm like no what next expansion we have arena we already know what arena is we already know how arena operates we already know the the shortcomings of it and like we, we already understand that this is new we haven't had anything new in pvp since cataclysm rbg's and then before that, Arena is back in TBC. This is new PvP experience. I'm very excited for it. And, I, and yeah, so I, anyway, that, that's my take on that. PvP, yeah. you know what it is? It's so Jover. It's Jover? It's completely Jover. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> There are certain genres of Peoples and Pepes that just... The, the most perfect that's just way fun, of man. Yeah. Yeah. online like so we do have some statistics we can take a look at here which is fun every number is zero it's all dead yep so these are season one two and three damn wait 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 season one two and three i don't i only see two lines where's the third one am i blind oh no see season two season three and then here okay uh oh yeah Right, so what we're looking at here Jesus. is a chart of games per week, okay, for the top 5,000 players. Uh, I assume that's just because that's what the leaderboard tracks? Yeah, uh -huh. I, we definitely are a little bit held I've... held back by having no data from Blizzard outside of... Uh, yeah, I wonder games, why that which is. Obviously so like. we have here Season 2 and Season 3. I do think it's kind of interesting that Season 3 is actually peaking way above... Se the thing is that... The reason why I think a lot of this happens is that WoW PvP is completely unapproachable. Like, why would you, like, let's say you're a young buck. 
17, good at video games, sharp. Your parents are okay with you sitting at home all day playing video games. You might not even go to college. You're probably just going to be a neat. And so what do you want to put $10,000 into? Do you want to put 10,000 hours into a game that the people that are older than your parents play? Or do you want to put 10,000 hours into a game like Valorant that has tons of e-girls, tons of Discord kittens? You can get way more viewers on Twitch. You can actually have a competitive career. Like, why would anybody invest any time into WoW PvP? Because it has the least payoff of any competitive game. That's the reality. So there's no new blood coming into the game. And and that's not even talking about how hard the game is to play. We're not even getting into that. I'm talking about like just what are the incentives? There's a lot of hot bitches that play League. There's not as many that play. Are we really talking about getting girls from being good at a video game? Okay. Wow. That's just the way it is. Season two. Okay, so there's there's a lot to cover there. I 100% agree with Asman here. Yes. We know that there's not new blood coming into WoW PvP, really. It's been the same people at the top for a very long time. The best players are at the top, and there's no one new coming in, and some of the old players are eventually retiring, but it's the best players at the top, and there's really not a ton of players coming in. There's a couple of examples. Like, we have Calvish. Calvish is probably almost 20 now, but maybe still a teenager, and he's really good in, in a rank one player. Uh, there's a couple other couple other examples probably, but for the most part, the WoW rank one PvP scene is a bunch of people in their 30s or late uh, mid, mid 20s, late, late 20s or 30s. And it's like, there's, there's no new players. And Asmund's exactly right. Why would you want to invest in a game from a, a, a 20 to 30 year old esport that doesn't seem to necessarily be going anywhere. So what, what do you do if you're Blizzard? Well, so WoW Arena has kind of, kind of seen its course, its product uh, life cycle, so, uh, so to speak. That's why I'm so excited for Plunder. Like, that's why I've been excited for Plunder, because it's not Arena. It's something new. It's easier to get into. It's easier to watch. It's easier to play. There's no barriers of entry. If it becomes an eSport, we get more kids in the game. If you get more kids, you get new blood. You get tournaments. You get, like, that's why I'm so enthusiastic about Plunder. It needs to be free to play. It needs to be off of the, the Dragonflight client. It cannot be on the Dragonflight client. It has to be its own client, and it has to be... Be free to play and there has to be some tor some type of incentive to play the game like an esports scene and i think there's actually a lot of potential in it because it's fun it's easy to get into and it's easy to watch that's why once again i'll ref go back to my point that i've been more excited about plunder than anything i have seen in wow pvp in like over a decade and i still stick to that i really do <laughs> um now let's look at this chart there's a lot to cover here to be fair Season 1, historically, in, a se in an expansion, always has the most amount of players. Season 2 is a drop-off. Season 3 is a drop-off. Season 4 is a drop-off. And then right at the end of an expansion, you might see an increase. And then you have a new expansion. And then Season 1's hype again. Season 2's less. Season 3's less. So this is about what we'd expect. This graph isn't anything, like, crazy out of uh, the League of Expectation. This is a that's about what you would expect. So I'm not, like, cringing at the graph, really, to be fair. Because I, I understand the historical data right and this is again three and the three. hot girls that play wow are usually playing right they're pro probably rating probably right there's a few girls that play pvp it's not like there's none of them guys i am a 20 time rank one world of warcraft player there is a zero percent chance you're pulling girls from rank one titles you go tell a girl about like i've told my wife about my rank one titles and she Okay, well, she says Tyrannical Gladiator is pretty cool, but besides that, nobody cares. All right? Other dudes, but I don't think you're picking up chicks from the rank one titles, man. I'm just telling you from the other side. But there's not as many as League. And if you're a 19-year-old dude, that matters. Bro. Three. So you can see that red line there at about week eight. However, it uh, is appearing it does, to it dip off a little bit. Yeah, DVP is dead, but it looks like on average there's more PvP even played in season three anyway. So. <laughs> 
maybe depends on yeah the well is. season three is a stronger time for the game what That's we true. saw you know our mythic plus numbers are mm -hmm. up you can see that at least for a bit pvp numbers mm -hmm. Uh, you know, PvP numbers were up. What we can do is look at solo shuffle lobbies uh, per week. Uh, sort of roughly assuming that a lobby is six rounds. Now, uh, kind of interesting. So you got what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys an unpopular take and an unpopular opinion on solo shuffle. Most of you will probably disagree with me. The pro of solo shuffle is that it makes WoW more accessible. Having said that, there's still 40 minute queues as a DPS player because of the DPS to healer player ratio problem that exists and that's not going anywhere. All right, so let's get deeper. What is my problem with solo shuffle? It splits the 3v3 player base into solo shuffle and 3v3 and it makes finding games for threes even harder and the solo shuffle queues are very long. Solo shuffle queues are long. It's hard to play if you have just an hour or two to play and there's less people playing threes because of it. For me, I don't think Solo Shuffle was actually a massive win for the game. Um, and and it, it's kind of uh, a, a analogous to LFG, LFR, for World of Warcraft. It's like, yeah, you can get in quicker, but it actually isn't all just positives. There's there's drawbacks to that um, accessibility. Say uh, 69,922. Uh, I wonder how long they had this data shuffle, for. And we're looking at numbers that more like... 44,000 some of our peaks for the yeah. 3v3s. So you can really see that Solo Shuffle, um, you know, it's it's played more than 3v3, and I suppose that makes sense because it's of Solo it queue. Now, Season 3 is uh, definitely having a worse time for Solo Shuffle than it was having. Yeah. Uh, with, um, yeah, with, uh, with 3v3. These numbers... That's because people can't get queues. People don't want to sit in a 45-minute queue to play a game with some moron that just line of sights himself and then he just dies and he says where's the heels why would somebody want to waste their fucking time doing that are not completely crater so, so just so people understand the in-depth issue uh, i glazed over it just now there's a certain amount of healers that play the game and a certain amount of dps players that play the game and i think that number is about one in five or closer to one in six or something might the numbers might be a little off but Arena is three players, which means you need one in three healers to get instant cues. You need two DPS, one healer. Now, there's not that many healers in the game that exist. Period. Hard stop. You can't incentivize it. You can't just have a, a double the healers show up overnight because you pay them more gold. Short of paying them dollars, like real life dollars to play your game or something, but even that, there wouldn't be enough skilled healers that exist in the world for, for the queues to be instant. So the queues are not going to be instant where there's not enough healers that exist for the queues to be instant. So yes, the queues are stuck at 40 minutes because of the healer to DPS ratio disparity. Period. Hard stop, right? Conversation's done. But just so people understand what, what, the, 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 the conversation here. You're not completely dead. They're, you know, they are sort of near each other. But again, look at the y-axis. You are looking at 20,000 lobbies per tick yeah. in the y-axis, which is quite a lot of gameplay. So e even more recently there, we're 22,145 yeah. versus 36,872. That is a large a large difference, but yeah. could Plunderstorm, I don't know, maybe Plunderstorm yeah, is that, not that, that, that down. Yeah, that, that week is Plunderstorm as yeah. far as that farm because we're, okay, we're, so, we're in week 20, right? Yeah. So yeah, that was, yeah okay. Yeah. So nineteen is thunderstorm week. Which means if they want to have this shit, if they want to get WoW PvP back on track, they have to. Uh, in my opinion, I think they should make a separate mode for the game that's totally different than the base game. Plunderstorm, like Plunderstorm. Yes, because yeah, that's that. Ah, thank you for saying this, Aspen. Like I've been telling you guys this. I'm I've been more excited about plunder and more optimistic about plunder than any other PvP experience we've had in the past decade. And people called me crazy, but guys, it's the only way forward. It's the only way forward. You got. You have to fragment off, split its own game, make it free to play, go put some skins on there, and blow it up, baby. That's the way forward. It, it's the only way forward, and that's why I've been so optimistic. But also, like saying that there needs like Plunderstorm can't be in Dragonflight, and it cannot be behind a fifteen dollar paywall. Because like there's just too many variables in the game. It it is just too many. It's completely unapproachable. You have to. You have to have a recent. That so is before a, that, you can see. Yeah, before that, you. I've lost art. I don't know. Yeah, 
Uh, I know that one thing that hasn't happened is rating inflation. Yeah. Which is how you get people yeah, rewards, so, I suppose. So I think the, 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 the thing to say here is these numbers are very small compared to M+. Plus. They are. Very small. Very small. And see, all well, of we, we like, should, these We problems, should say what some of the numbers are so people understand how big the gap is. I feel like back in, like, vanilla BC and Wrath... It felt like PvP was 50% of the game. And in Kata, Mr. Pandaria, and like WAD, it felt like PvP was like 30% of the game. In Legion, it felt like it was like 20%. In BFA, it was like 10 And like, I feel like after that, it's just hovering around that 10%. Why'd they move away from it? I'm going to be honest. It's not their fault. Other games provided a better PvP experience, and most people that were looking for a PvP experience went to those games. It's a fair take. Like League. There was a massive exodus in Cataclysm of WoW players that quit WoW to play League. Because, like, I was really into PvP back then. Like, how do you know that? I got DDoSed a lot. <laughs> uh, so I, I used to know everybody. Because I would be a flag carrier for RBGs. And... In the process of that, I remember whenever a league popped off and people were like saying like, yeah, this is my last season. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit playing. I'm going to try to go pro in league or be serious about league and go into that. Yeah. So a solo shuffle That's fair. That's a fair is, take. Mm -hmm. uh, how many people is it? Six. <laughs> I, I don't it's, yeah, remember. It's two V2s. Yeah, it's two V2s. Yeah. How many, how many people are in the lobby? They sure. He doesn't even know. Is it, this is they don't even know so it's three. Oh, yeah. my gosh. I want, I want to say Shot, we, we need your aid. I want to say nine. They don't even know how many people help. are in it. Is it eight or nine? Oh, yeah, it's three V3s. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. funny. They, they, they didn't even know. Three, yeah. That's wild. I'm sure someone will say uh, in chat before long. Three V3. Yeah, two V3. Yeah. So many people in the lobby then. I think it's nine. Is it nine or is it 12? Yeah, stream Brandy buff is actually extremely real. It's yeah, it's it's a, it's a potent real. thing because what what we can yeah, do. Yeah, because you're though, thinking about fifty different things. Somebody goes and says player hit an age where they couldn't keep playing the game. In my opinion, look at Zico and Vin Rookie. They're like fucking thirty year old men. No, it's not age. It's incentives. Like age plays a factor. It absolutely plays a factor. But I think people dramatically overestimate what that factor is. The reality is that the reason why people aren't playing WoW PvP doesn't have to do with age. It has to do with incentive. Yeah. We can kind of well, okay, so, so here's how I look at it. If you're running a business, there's a certain amount of people that are going to like buy your product. And there's going to be a certain amount of people that continue to buy your product and a certain amount of people that don't. And that drop off is natural. Well, there's a name for it. It's like um, the amount of people that, like if you have a subscription uh, model as a business, the amount of people that unsubscribe every month, that amount of people, like you, you can't get caught up on it. Say there's like 5% of people or 10% of people, uh, attrition, yeah, churn rate. That amount of people is going to unsubscribe. That's fine. I'm not saying, now if your churn rate is, if your attrition is, is falling off like 40%, now that's a problem. But say your attrition is like 5% of people unsubscribe a month, that's actually pretty good. Right, that's actually really good. And if you're keeping 95% of your customer base month to month, that's like pretty good. Now, how do you not die eventually? You get new customers. You have to. You have to get a new customer base because the people are eventually going to fall off at some point. The problem with WoW Arena is that there's no new player base. None. Or, okay, I shouldn't say none. There's like a 1% growth or something. But the, the drop-off is happening. Like, every month, every year, people are quitting slowly. But there's no one new coming in because of what Asmund said. They're, they're playing other games like Valorant or League, you know, Counter-Strike, Fortnite, whatever. There's other esports that are more attractive for that 16, 17-year-old Zoomer who's just, like, cracked. So there's no reason to play WoW PvP for them. There's no new player base, and the people that are in their 30s are eventually are getting married, having kids, whatever. They're they're playing less, and they retire, and they stop playing. So we have the attrition. We don't have the new influx of players. And eventually, what happens to a business with attrition with no influx? You're going to die. That's right. It's very simple. The workout. Nine, many, yeah, nine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what nine. I think. So with Mythic Plus, we are dealing with weekly numbers that are mm -hmm. in and around what? Uh, mm. Yes. Stream brain. 
Yeah, straight brand. I uh, let me check the video yeah. we published yesterday. Yes, that has those numbers very conveniently. Uh, so okay, now where the hell? Where the hell are the numbers in the video? It's um, probably like five exits or something. Six people, yeah, six. Why did I think nine? Yeah, I am overestimating how much shuffling is actually done. Obviously, six makes more sense if it's shuffling around so everyone plays with each other. Um, yeah. Three v three. I can be good at math or PvP, not both. How about neither? That's my choice. That's my, I used to be good at math, and then I didn't look at any numbers, and I started to think in... What's the like, number they're trying to figure out? How many people instead, play Mythic Plus? And it's been a horrible experience for my usefulness. Um, but I'm better at communicating, so who knows? I don't even know what they're trying to talk about. Yeah. The amount of people in Mythic Plus. I feel like even if you kind of go, well, there's, you know, if that's a lobby, there's 120,000 people... But then, you know, how many people? Oh, that? So, that yeah, that would be 120,000. Yeah, because it would be, well, it would actually be a little bit more than that. It would be 132,000. But, yeah. Do you do 10, 15, you know, 20 lobbies? As opposed so, to let, let's else? just compare, right? Let's compare week 16. Week 16. Because okay. there's six so people in each lobby. They're just week multiplying 16, it. We had, uh, what season is that? What season is that? Week 16. We had about a million. About a million keystones ran. Each keystone, five people. So Jesus. People. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. I thought it would be like a little, like like a good amount more. I didn't realize it was going to be like five million people in a keystone versus 120,000 in a, in, a, in a shuffle. 120 or 132,000 versus five million <laughs> that's well, not represents... that's not empirical whatsoever because yeah, obviously yeah. Well, 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 yeah. you know so it's yeah. that, that's how many people though so a million runs and there's mm -hmm. five people within a run I don't, I don't here, even think the amount of people matters i think it's literally just there's a million keys versus twenty thousand lobbies that's a, those are different yeah, numbers. You know, it's, those, it's those five are, people. a million fucking keys that is crazy well here's the reason why is that you have to multiply the solo shuffle by three. Because in the time that it would take a lot of people to do two Mythic Plus keys, solo shuffle players have to wait in queue. So if <laughs> yeah, the queues true. are 40 minutes, true. and they can do keys in 20 minutes, so then really you should multiply this number by three. Six Numbers people like, within each one. Yeah. So basically queue, what, what this is are saying is awful. that even, say, solo shuffle, uh, or, you know, 3v3 yeah. or solo pretty big shuffle, cues? they are both... Yeah, threes, I like, know. what's that, week 16, 20k? Yeah, and also, how like long games how here. long does a solo shuffle lobby last? Uh, how long is a piece of string? <laughs> dampening, my man, depends on dampening. We are the guys with the answers. Yeah, so it's probably like 20 minutes, I, mean, I said, yeah, 20. Like a 3v, yeah. Okay, yeah. take just a plain-ass 3v3. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah. done a lot of it, I mean, it, that so. could be over... How, like you could get many of those done. Yeah, I, I don't know anywhere from. I, you could have a, a really quick game where people just die instantly. There's there's six rounds. You could have a, a, a six one minute rounds and be done in six minutes. I guess there's the prep, so like ten minutes. Or but at high MMR, some of these rounds can take like four or five minutes each, like a, like a four minute three three four minutes each, I guess, um, at least. So and, you know it depends within the space of one dungeon, which eh, makes these no. numbers. You get a few. No, done. you could get like two or three depends on the game depends if it's quick i mean okay, okay fair <laughs> well see that no that's the top that's <laughs> the top five thousand where a solo shuffle is just lobby so i think the solo shuffle number is the better one uh, for yeah, comparison course, course. well that's what we're looking at here so that's uh, 19, 18, yeah so 28k but the point is versus still, a million yeah yeah, it's, I wasn't trying to like dig in like what's the specific numbers here. It's literally one of these is a bigger number than the other by mm -hmm. a factor of a, adding two zero or a lot. Know, adding yeah. zero and a bit. It is like five times, four times bigger. So, okay, well, clearly there you go. But that's a scuffed kind of... Oh, Blizzard um, gave up on PvP. They did. They gave up on it. And I think that they made the right call to give up on it. I think it's not a game mode that's ever going to grow. Uh, it's impossible for them to balance because like there's just too many variables too many people want to play pvp in too many different ways to balance across like every metric 
Like in League of Legends, for example, every single game is killing the Nexus, right? Like I've never, I've literally never played League of Legends, but every single game is killing the Nexus, right? Yes, every game is killing the Nexus. So in WoW, you have three different uh, meta level competitive PvP things. You have Arena, you have Capture the Flag, and you have Base Control. And like the two of them are RBGs. So you have to balance three completely different modes of gameplay to have some level of parity at the same time that you can change the inputs that you have for gear as many times as you want if something is good, like a really good trinket or something like that. So you have all these extra variables. It's too much. It's impossible for them to get it right. I mean, League doesn't even get it right. That's why they're redoing balancing all the time. Like the whole thing is this is scuff, right? It, it it's sad, you know. It's sad. It's 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 really sad. It's uh it's true. He's not wrong. It feels like uh, a lost art. Feels maybe. Uh, you spent a lot of time getting really good at crafts with your hands, like um, crocheting or something, and people stop valuing your work because there's a machine that does it better, or like just alternatives or something. And then you are like, but it's but it's really cool for the thing in itself, right? It's beautiful. It's it's this thing in itself is really fun and exciting and enjoyable. But the next generation just isn't interested in it for whatever reason. And now you're sitting here and like, okay, I'm a boomer, I guess, with the things that I like to do. And I find the beauty in it, but no one else does. And that's pretty much WoW PvP. Like for somebody who spent the majority of my life WoW PvPing, I find it beautiful. I find it artistic. I find it as a form of expression. It's, it's, it's fun. But... Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, it, it's very, very complicated. <laughs> very complicated. If you're new to the game, it's you're not going to make any sense. There's two. There's so many variables. It's so confusing. It's very hard to get into. The new new generation is clearly not enjoying it. So it's like, yeah, it feels a bit like a lost art, and it's a bit sad. But it's it's reality, and you move on. The whole problem with PvP is that this is... Which is also why I'm so optimistic about Plunderstorm. Like, I keep going back to this concept of, like, Plunderstorm is watchable. And I do think young kids would want to play it if it was free to play. And I think the tournaments are watchable. And it is... You can get in. Like, the, the, the way forward is, like, more of, like, a plunder angle. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Season 2 wasn't even good either. This is still yeah. an unbelievably unsupported game mode. But we're yeah. getting to the point where it's not actually, they're not actually solving any problems. I love mm -hmm. this. So I, I just went to, uh, to Google PvP runs per week Shadowlands. And the top post is a Reddit post saying Mythic Plus runs per week. Uh -huh. That uh, doesn't bode well. Is there anything on Drustvar? So, well, it's it like, and you think about it, what PvE game provides the experience that mythic plus provides because i'm trying to think about it i don't really feel like there's any other game that provides a very high level competitive pve cooperative experience like mythic plus and gosh yeah they don't so like mythic plus is the best at delivering that experience whereas for pvp there are a lot of other games that are better at delivering that experience so that's the difference like, WoW is the best whenever you're talking about things like Mythic Plus. It's not the best whenever you're talking about PvP. Or Race to World First. Yeah. No so why would people play Search it? engines are useless. Completely. It's fair. Awful. Useless. Every single, every single way that Search is implemented. And I'm assuming this has happened at some fuckwit asshole somewhere in the, you know, the Fang place. or like, Search. I've revolutionized Search to be so much more efficient and so much better and we can do it in like so like such a smaller old time so so much more efficient to search all data everything is a fuzzy search yes. you cannot search for anything exact anymore so we just live in a in fuzzy times man yeah you want to you want to search fuzzy times. for a tweet from a person from time ago no fuck you no you want to <laughs> find a quote on google no sorry we've disabled that functionality we thought you having access what? to information wasn't actually the real point of the internet anymore. Is that true? No, no, it's the display we ads. Thought, we, thought, we thought surfacing AI-generated slop into your eyeballs was the point. I think there's ways to use search engines. I, I don't do this myself, but if you, you can search from certain dates and certain times with including certain words, but you have to know how to search. You have to use like colons and parentheses and like there's like stars and asterisks and all this stuff. But I, I yeah, I don't do that. I, like ever. Is it? Too much info? Yes. Really? Damn. 
Sorry. Yes. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we'll have, to, we'll have to, we'll have to yeah. do that differently. But anyway, the point is, PvP is really in a dire state. The thing that Blizzard could do, though, to fix up a lot of this is our... Because there's a whole side of PvP that's not covered they here. They can't fix it. They'll never fix it. It's dead. It's dead. That's it. Now, they can prevent it from dying as quick as it would naturally. So this is a managed decline. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. At best. Yeah. Which is Battlegrounds. It's on life support, also yeah. Also the, what's it called? Battleground Blitz? It's really sad. Yes, it's really sad. Blitz, which is the test for <laughs> rated uh, solo queue BGs. None of that is actually captured in the data. Yeah. Now, so, it's not massively well rewarded. Yeah, like, we're kind so. of flying blind, but the point isn't so much about the fact that participation is dwindling, because the numbers don't really matter when you just see everyone who does PvP being online going... Where are my improvements to PvP? Mm. Where's my game mode attention, please? Plunderstorm, that's cool. That's not World of Warcraft PvP. Please give me World of Warcraft PvP, please. Obviously, we're getting a... It's always the same people asking for it, too. And that's the problem. Yeah, go play a PvP game. Exactly. Like, you're never going to have a game that's not focused on PvP that has good, balanced PvP that people give a shit about. Every successful PvP game that's good is a PvP game first and foremost. That's what it is. Like League, Valorant, Smite, uh, Dota, Counter-Strike, Fortnite. They're all PvE, PvP games and focused around that. Like a new battle. Earlier today, I talked about the golden era of PvP being wrath cat on mop right where just pvp felt really enriching exciting the community felt alive tournament scene uh streaming scene like it was just like just just awesome um and asmongold brings up a good point that was before league was really introduced like league got popular in what like 2012 and like really popular like 2013 2014 i mean these yeah, that's right when like MOP was ending and, and WAD was coming out, right? It was like 2014, I think, when MOP was ending. 2015 is when WAD came out. I believe I have those years right. So maybe in, in Wrath and in Kata, there probably weren't uh, weren't options like that. Like you had Counter-Strike, like CS 1.6 and Source or whatever. But at the same time, that was a completely different genre. You have FPS and then you have this like fantasy style MMO PvP. So maybe the truth is League is stealing the the player base of young kids that are interested in like fantasy style PvP with characters and spells and abilities and attacks because they're a PvP focused game. And League kind of got popular around the decline of WoW after that golden era. Yeah, I mean, it kind of adds up. Battleground in the War Within. Rust, and yep. they're testing the solo Battleground stuff. But Fighting games, yeah. Solo queue Battleground, I should say, not solo That's what they're all about. Bit pointless. We're doing a 1v1 in, in Arathi Basin. Sounds good to me. Um, so, yeah, I feel like it's just a case of almost in running with the, the vein of, like, the Season 4 being kind of undercooked a little bit. Which you know what Blizzard like, should do? They should make it to where you queue up for Arena and it just puts you on Plunderstorm. Just put it out of its misery. And it's like, wait, what the fuck? You. I'm in Plunderstorm. Yes. Wait, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck? Like, oh my god. Like, and that's... And that's it. Yeah, no more arena. It's dead. It's done. I remember when League of Legends came out as a, an arena player and as a gladiator, I was thinking, this game is so stupid. There's five buttons or six buttons. No one's going to play this. This sucks. It's so easy. But hey, the queues are pretty fast and it's kind of fun, so I'll play it in the downtime. And I played like 500 or so games because it was kind of kind of just, you know, on the side, just kind of on the second monitor while I was sitting in a queue looking for an RBG. And what I didn't realize then and what I do realize now is the fact that League has five buttons or six buttons, that simplicity makes it easy to watch. It makes it easy for people to get into. It makes it accessible. The standardized UI makes it easy to watch, makes it more accessible, easier to get into. And that simplicity is probably what kind of blew up the game mode. And that doesn't mean it's easy, by the way. I was wrong back then. It, it doesn't One mean it's...
started watching it doesn't it doesn't mean the game mode's easy thank you for the subs guys it just means that it's simple and there can be complexity within simplicity i thought when i was when i when lee came out I'm like this game is so stupid easy like come who's gonna play this but yeah i i, I really agree with asman here i've been saying this for a couple weeks and everyone's called me crazy i'm I, i'm so happy asman has said it like plunder a plunder angle is the future of 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 like a of a wow pvp experience but it needs to be free to play and standalone and there needs to be some sort of incentive and with that i think it could blow up and as i've been saying that the entire time yeah since i heard about it i was freaking out about that announcement because i i really do believe in that but yeah getting people on a pve game to gear and yeah it's not gonna happen I'm really talking too much. It's over. And people have been like, where's my stuff? Where's my game? Where's my content? And it does boil down to, sorry, PvP is very on the back burner. Nobody and cares. It, it's frustrating people because they want minor fixes. They want minor changes. Yeah, right now it seems like yeah. even just some of the MMR. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, not MMR, that, sorry, that's, rating. That's most of the problem. Yeah, people yeah. are like, I would like this queue to work. I would like this queue to function so I can play people who I can play against. Somebody was saying, like, uh, PvP was popular in, in Kata and Mob. I feel like PvP was falling off at that point. Like, I feel like PvP was at its peak at, like, late Wrath, yeah. early Kata. Yeah. And then it kind of went downhill after that. Uh, I, I think when Wreckful came to Mob and, like, Mop started like the first season of Mop with with Wreckful and with with Mitch and Soda Poppin and five v five one v ones. Mop season one was a very golden period for PvP. It was. Um, the Wrath was more before Twitch and Justin TV took off. That was more like X Fire. So it was, but but the tournament scene with like MLG and stuff was pretty okay. Kata the tournament scene actually took a downturn. There wasn't a lot of like tournaments in Kata. Um, there was NAO, NAO Gaming, if you guys remember. But streaming was just starting to take off. And then in MOP, streaming exploded. Wreckful started content. So, like, it was crazy start of MOP. And then by the end of MOP, it kind of fizzled. And then WAD super fizzled. The reason why is that, like, obviously you need a big player base of a game to care about PvP. And I think another big reason is that the game isn't watchable by spectators. Like, you can watch Classic WoW PvP, and you can generally know what's going on. Exactly. You can't watch Retail WoW PvP and know what's going on. Exactly. Yep. And I think the reason why MOP was popular is still, like, WoW was still kind of at a high, so you had, like, general player competency that was pretty high. But nowadays, like, the game has changed and evolved so much that unless you're actively keeping up with it, you won't be able to appreciate and understand plays that are being made. Like, you can see the health bar going down, but you don't really know what that means. And it'd be a fine, fair, reasonable match. Yes. So, it's like, sorry, it's even in the same sense of like yeah. people talking about the end of season versus mm -hmm. frag. It's like they're probably right in the long term to yeah. be so, like, almost singularly focused on the big, cool things and the next thing. Who thinks the move the needle? But at the same time, there's an element of everyone going, why have I been left to rot? Yeah, if there's the K, you can't let it go uh, go on for mm -hmm. for too much time. Oh, you easily can. They can they can not give a fuck about it for a while. Mop was peak. <laughs> uh, the balance wasn't perfect. The classes had good kits. Yeah, but the reason for that, like, I mean, you're never gonna have a game that has the level of complexity that Mr. Pandaria had. That is gonna have a growing player base. It was just too complicated. I think not... what he's trying to say is WoW was coming off a high in MOP. WoW was coming off a high from Wrath and Kata. A bunch of streamers were taking off. Twitch was a thing. It was coming off a high. But if you launched MOP by itself as a standalone experience, uh, like he's saying, it's still too complicated, which I think is like a decent point. It would be complicated for everybody in here because you're sitting here at four in the fucking morning watching a video about a video game. <laughs> so, like, obviously to us, it wasn't that big of a deal. But... <laughs> I think that Razer as a company owes a tremendous oh amount of its success due to the fact that Mr. Pandaria needed so many fucking keybinds that everybody had to buy a Razer Naga or win one from Swifty. True. I genuinely think that made a tangible, genuine impact in their entire company.
Uh, it's just too much, man. Like, and I think that, like, PvP and WoW, like, retail PvP, we're talking about retail PvP, and, and, like, really anything in the game, like, there's just too many barriers to entry for an average person to get into it and to think that it's going to be anything less than a waste of time. That's really the truth. And I think that's really the problem, too, is that the game feels like such a waste of fucking time. Why are you going to do this whenever you could be doing literally anything else? Yes. <laughs> I, I did not expect it to take, what was that, 30 or 40 minutes watching this. It was, it was definitely worth the watch. I agree. I think that's why I've been so adamant about, like, my excitement about Plunder. And I sound like a broken record, but I think if you want to move forward and get, like, a really exciting PvP game mode from Blizzard, it's probably going to look more like Plunder with five or six buttons, with simplicity, with complexity, within simplicity, with no add-ons, with free-to-play skin model uh, monetization, with uh, with a tournament scene that comes up. We need new players. We need young blood. We need 16, 17, 18-year-olds interested in gaming. And, and that's how you create an eSport, not... Yeah. In terms of what's happening, it, it's going to continue to happen. And I think you spot on. So, yeah, thanks for, thanks for, the, thanks for the video. <laughs> we, took, we took a while on this, but that was worth it. I, yeah, I agree. That's it.